I thought we should take a look at one more example of evaluating a triple integral before we talk about the applications of triple integrals. So let's review how we would evaluate this triple integral. The first thing we should notice is we're integrating with respect to x first. So we'll treat y and z as constants. So the antiderivative with respect to x would be x natural log z. And because we integrate the specs to x, we'll replace x with our limits of integration. So we'll first replace x with 1 over yz. So we'll have natural log z over yz. And then when x is 0, this would be 0. Now we'll integrate with the specs to z. So we'll have to perform u substitution here. If we let u equal natural log z, then differential u with respect to z would be 1 over z dz. And notice we do have a 1 over z dz in our integrand. So if we were to rewrite this in terms of u, 1 over z dz is equal to du, and then natural log z is just equal to u. However, we do still have this extra factor of y. So when we integrate this specs to u, we'll treat y as a constant. So we'll have u squared all over 2 times y. So that'll be natural log z squared all over 2y. Our limits of integration were from 1 to e squared. And because we integrate the specs to z, we're replacing z with e squared. Let's go ahead and do that on the next slide. So we'll have natural log e squared squared all over 2y minus, when z is equal to 1, we'll have natural log 1, which is equal to 0. So well, natural log e to the second, applying the power property, we'll have 2 times natural log e. Natural log e is 1. So we'll have 2 squared is 4. 4 over 2y is going to be 2 over y. And now if we integrate this with respect to y, we're going to have 2 natural log y. So we're going to have 2 natural log 3 minus 2 natural log 1. But again, natural log 1 is equal to 0. So we're left with 2 natural log 3. And that'll do it for this example. Thank you for watching.